Hey everybody, once again, this is Remington, back with another tip and I guess kind of a trick that I found that you can do with Intractor. So I was playing at my gig the other week in Tampa and found that um, if you drag your cursor over the track that you're playing or any other track on any other deck, it'll show you how many bars away an event will happen. So I was playing Tape Drones, which is Luigi Madonna, it was going pretty well, but I wanted to transition um, and make it a little bit more interesting into um, his other track, Singer One. So I found that 64 bars away, the outro begins of Tape Drones. Well, if you look in this other track, it's pretty well stable for a long time until 64 bars, an event happens. So you can do this on the fly if you find that you're playing a track and you want to know where this breakdown occurs in your in the beginning. You can really just watch it over and over and it, you know keep in time and in thinking. And it can be a pretty powerful tool. So I'll just show you how that can help. The cool thing is you can just see it counting down, you know, with your knowledge of how a track builds and breaks down and counting your fours, it's uh, such a powerful tool. It can help you achieve a longer mix, or if you're not sure if you need to bump it by four bars, you can quickly check it. I've done that too where you feel like it might be four bars behind or it's gonna come in too quickly, just quickly check it. See if it's at, you know, 32 away and your second track's at 33 or something. It can be a very powerful tool to use throughout the entire set. A word of caution though, don't click the track by accident because it will shift. I've done that as well. Hopefully this will help elevate your mixes, give you some inspiration on trying different transitions, and just keep you interested. So once again, thank you for tuning in. This has been Remington in the Mix.